Hey guys, it's Katie from This Is Our Home. Uh, this is week number five, I believe. A uh, lot has happened this week. I feel like I say that every week because it's just like, there's so much stuff going on right now. But uh, we had a good week this week. Another good one. Um, we demoed out the old staircase last weekend. Um, if you guys saw our video we posted from the last weekend, we had a really great time. We went to a parade. There's a little Linden Farmer's Day parade um, that they put on every year and that was a really good time. And then after that, my mom took the kids back to her house and then Brian and I went back here and we demoed out the old back staircase, which was pretty simple. Um, we ran into a little snafu where there was like um, a live electrical wire just hanging down underneath the old staircase that we didn't know was there. Um, I guess when we hired a private contractor to come in and change our water heater to a tankless, um, and I guess he snipped the electrical wire off from the old hot water heater, but he didn't, uh, <laughs> he didn't actually make the wire like not live. So that wasn't good. That was just like sitting there. It's a huge cable that ran directly into our circuit box. So that could have started a house fire. That's a little bit unnerving to know that was just sitting under our house, but it's taken care of now. Um, it's all good. The staircase is gone. And then, um, so we had like a couple days where we were <laughs> bouncing in and out of the alleyway and the window down there to try and get to the laundry, but no big deal. We got through it just fine. Um, and then on Tuesday, our contractor came in and he said, you gotta go. He sent me off with the kids to my mom's house because he had to cut a huge hole in our floor out here by the entryway and he made us um, the opening to the new staircase. So that's exciting. It's um, finally we're able to go like up and down the stairs the way we're going to probably the rest of the time we're living here. I don't think anyone else is going to come in here and make a new staircase. So this house probably has its last staircase in, but it's pretty cool. Um, you can open our front door now and you can actually see like how it's going to be and um, it's a really weird feeling to be like, oh my God, there's stairs there all of a sudden because they were they used to be in the back of the house. So, but it's fun. It's really cool. It's exciting to see that. Um, that's a big step forward. So he did a really great job making sure there was like plywood up around the new staircase. So our three-year-old can't like fall down the huge hole. Um, and he also put like little temporary uh, railings down the side so she doesn't want to go down in the basement and then like fall over the side onto the concrete floor, which is like a seven foot drop. So um, he's a great contractor. We're really thankful that we have him. Um, he also was able to put in a new subfloor where the old staircase was. So it's fun, you can walk back there and there's actually a laundry room like it's not really the laundry room yet because we need to take Ellie's old closet out and then you'll actually be able to see like the full scope of the laundry room, but it's got a floor. You can walk back there and it's a little weird because you're walking, you know, your old muscle memory, you go on there and it's like, oh my gosh, this is, used to be a staircase. I'm like standing on nothing right now, but there's a floor there. It's really cool. It's awesome to see that. So, um, that was a, another huge big deal. Um, and then Tuesday when he opened the floor, the heating guys came back and they um, fixed the ducting down there and they like ran new ducts to where the bedrooms are gonna go. They put a new ducting line where the wet bar is gonna be. Um, they got all that done and I think they ran one up to where, because we're moving our kitchen sink um, to underneath our large window in the kitchen. So there used to be a vent there, so I think they ran a new one up where where the old one was. So um, that's that's great stuff. They also um, did a line in for the new fireplace where that's gonna go, the natural gas fireplace. They finished, um, I guess you call it plumbing even though they're uh, heating people and natural gas line people, but essentially the same deal. You gotta plumb like a, a copper line to where you need to go for the fireplaces, but they got all of that done. Um, and I think that's it as far as like new developments for this week. 
for next week, uh, we have a lot of really exciting things happening. The plumber's coming back and he's going to plumb in the new washer and dryer in the upstairs. So that's really cool. And then he's going to put the shower base. I guess our shower base came in. So he's going to put the shower base um, in where the new bathroom is in the basement. So yeah, that's a really big, big change, big improvement that's going to happen. And then the electrician is also coming in. He's not been here before. So this is the first time we're getting electrical work done. Um, he's going to start on the 13th. So the day after the plumber comes in, he'll come in. And he's going to do electrical outlets for the washer and dryer. So those are going to get moved upstairs next week. So that's pretty cool. We're very excited about that. Well, I am. <laughs> I don't know if Brian is, but I don't like going all the way downstairs with the laundry baskets because I'm extremely lazy. And that's a long way to walk. So now I'll just be able to put everyone's clothes in a little basket, draw all the way through the kitchen, and there they are on the same floor. I don't have to carry big baskets up and down the stairs. Cause you know how it is when you do laundry, you always wait until there's like an overflowing <laughs> mountain of laundry everywhere. And then you choose to like lug the big basket wherever you need it to go. So I don't have to do that anymore. No more climbing the stairs with huge baskets of laundry. Um, so that's it. I'm super excited for that. And it'll help us feel like, oh my gosh, we're starting on the upstairs now because so far it's all been really focused on the basement. And I think our contractor is going to pretty much come close to finishing uh, the framing in the basement next week. Uh, he's just got a few really small things left to do. He, We have to make a decision on um, the storage that we're going to have underneath the stairs. He said, you know, we've got a big empty open space back there and he said he can you know, frame us in some shelves, frame us in a closet back there, like, you know, whatever we want him to do. So we need to make a decision on that and uh, figure out what it is that we want to do down there. But once we do, he will finish framing that out. And then um, I think he's done in the downstairs and then he'll start working on the upstairs, like framing out Ellie a new closet. We'll have to dig into the kitchen. <laughs> and he's gonna have to work on the laundry room as well. So basically I consider that like phase number two of the remodel, the upstairs, which uh, I think is gonna start pretty soon in the next week or two, which is just insane to me. I don't know how we're already at this point. It feels like everything's gone so fast. And I definitely thought going into this process that we it would be opposite and I would feel like, oh my gosh, it's been like a month and a half and I feel like we've hardly done anything. We've done a lot. There's been a lot of stuff going on. So, um, yeah, it's just flying along. But so for our week, for our projects this next week, um, we have quite a bit to do, Brian and I. Uh, we have to demo out Ellie's closet. And I, I think most people, when they hear me say <laughs> like a closet, they consider like, you know, what a normal closet is. Like I just, a little closet where you hang your clothes. These closets are huge. They are big, deep, old cedar closets. I mean, that thing's probably framed out like five feet. Um, and that's going back into where the new laundry room is. So once we get that gone, then we're gonna actually have an open space where we can really see what the laundry room is gonna look like space-wise. Um, but we have to take out her closet, which is a huge closet. It's framed in extremely well. Like this house is built like a rock. I can tell you that, uh, our contractor had to take out one header board, um, last week when he was working on where we had taken the old staircase out and he was like, Oh my gosh. He's like those people, they drove in. I was like, Oh yeah, they're like 16 penny nails, right? He's like, no, I think they're 20 penny nails. Those things are huge and they ran them into the board this way and then they ran another set into the board the opposite way. So these are huge nails and they're like crisscrossing into the boards and pulling those things out is just insane. It's like trying to break cement apart. Those boards are held together really well and we are not talking like 
the little puny two by fours. These things are like four by eights that are just huge, thick boards that were just like, oh my gosh. So her, the back of her closet we can see because it's open right now. And it does have, I think it has like four two by fours like nailed together in a row on one corner. And that's going to be a pain to take out, but that's fine. It's not going to be too bad. Just the closet. Um, and as far as she is concerned, um, I've had to do a lot of prep preparing her for this. If you guys do a remodel with kids, just be forewarned. Um, they do have their own little <laughs> ideas about what's going on. And she's three and a half, so it's hard for her to understand. Right now, as far as she can, is concerned, mommy and daddy are just like ripping the house apart. She goes to grandma's house at the weekend and she comes back and we've destroyed another thing. So I'm trying really hard to get her excited about it. Every time something new happens downstairs, I walk her down there and I say, see, look, like, look, our contractor's name is Mick. And she calls him, she says, my Mick. And she says, oh, look, she said, my Mick made me a new staircase. In. And when we tear a wall up, she goes, it's okay, mommy, my Mick will fix it. My Mick will make me a new wall. I say, yeah, he'll make you a new wall. So this closet has been a lot of prep in her little mind. Um, and what I've done is I have promised her when this whole thing is over, she's going to get a brand new unicorn bedroom because uh, she likes unicorns. So I said, and we can't make your unicorn bedroom until we pull out the old closet and then you're going to get a new closet. So she's excited. She's going to get a unicorn bedroom. She understands the closet has to go as part of that process. So I think we're over that hurdle. I think mentally she's prepared herself for her closet is going because at the moment her room has been her safe space. She keeps saying over and over again, my room is still the same. My room is still the same. Well, this time her room won't be the same, but I think we've worked through it enough in her head that she's not going to be too freaked out when her closet's gone. Um, so that's going to be a big deal. We also are picking up, we bought a new fridge for the kitchen and we bought the um, microwave. We had to buy a new microwave because we are not doing a hood vent in the kitchen. Instead, we're doing a microwave above the oven and the microwave has a built-in venting system in it, so we won't need a hood vent. Um, and the fridge, we bought a counter depth fridge that's French doors. Um, I really didn't want it to like stick out too far from the cabinet, so the counter depth fridges are built, they don't stick out as much, it's like that's wide, I think, or depth. I think it's depth, right? Counter depth. <laughs> so they don't stick out as far as the normal fridges. They kind of are a little, they, a little smaller depth this way. So um, that way, if you have them in a kitchen and you put them in like a cubby, they're not like sticking out past the cubby, um, which is kind of nice. I don't really like the look when they're sticking way out. So, and especially since ours is going to be on the end, it kind of looks funky if you're sitting in the living room and you're looking in the kitchen and you see like eight inches of count or of fridge like sticking out past the cabinets. So we're excited about our counter depth fridge. Um, we ended up, which is a good tip, since we bought our cabinet from Lowe's. Um, there was a sale going on on the cabinets and what they do is a lot of times they'll give you a rebate card on the sale price. So we had like, um, I think it was almost a $900 rebate card that they sent us from the cabinets. And then we also had like 1100 in like cash and change that we had made from selling random things around the house that we weren't using anyway to clear out some space. For the remodel so we had excuse me um 1100 from that and like 900 from the rebate card so it basically paid for our new fridge which was really great um we didn't have to take that out of the budget out of savings that was able to pretty much i mean it felt like it was free to us obviously it wasn't free we paid for it with our things and uh the rebate card but um, it was pretty cool. We got the fridge. We got it on a Memorial Day weekend sale, so we got a really good deal on it anyway, and we were also able to get that microwave. So um, our budgeting is going great right now. We have not, knock on wood, run into any situation where they've gone, oh my god, like we pulled this open and you got this problem here and that's an extra $5,000. Hoping that doesn't happen. Um, so, so far so good. We'll see. We'll see if we can keep this going, but, um, and we also need to pick out a new fireplace for the downstairs and we need to pick out flooring for the downstairs. 
Um, we did pick out the flooring for the upstairs. We're going with Ravella Tea Time by Mohawk. Um, we found a good price for it, but I think for the downstairs, we're gonna try and find something that's a little bit cheaper. Not too much cheaper, just like around 250 a square foot, maybe three, but on the lower end, um, just because the downstairs, you know, it, it'll still be waterproof and scratch proof, but it, it hides a lot of flaws down there because there's no natural light. So we're gonna try and save a little money that way, but that is on our to-do list for next week. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this update. I hope it wasn't too jumbled and my head's like not too fuzzy and <laughs> I'm just like rambling on and on. But um, yeah, I think week six is what we're going into and that's gonna be a really big one, big deal. Washer and dryer are moving, electrical's coming in, plumbing's coming in, contractor's here, so. Should be lots of exciting changes for you guys to see next week. So anyways, I hope you guys keep watching and keep following. And if you like our videos, um, just subscribe to our channel and comment and let us know if you want to see more of a certain style. We will be doing another weekend vlog. So um, I hope you guys look forward to that and you can see it. So anyways, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.